Today we're going to use these homemade stones that are already base coated black and some new Sakura jelly roll pens to make some adorable little yin yang rocks. Haven't made any of these in a while so let's bring back that old design and test out a new type of pen. So I've traced the end of a large dotting tool to make the two circles for the yin yang and I split the rock down the middle and now I'm going to kind of work around those circles and create the sort of S line that splits a yin yang design. So this is all just kind of freehanding it and then using my hand to kind of rub off the parts of the lines that we don't want anymore. So I'm gonna kind of add a little bit more curvature to this line and then I'm gonna come back through with black paint and just kind of clean it up a little bit just to make sure that none of the chalk pencil is showing underneath the design. back through with some dragonfly glaze in the full spectrum color so this is kind of like the rainbow one that has all the colors in the glitter this is a very fine glitter paint and I really like this one on black it looks so amazing on black when it dries and the nice thing about it is that the glitter is so fine that it actually dries smooth it's not like other glitter paints where you get kind of that grainy bumpiness if you were gonna write on it you could write on this pretty easily it's shiny and slick but it does dry really smooth so all the little lines that you're seeing in here actually kind of sink into each other and they, it dries very smooth and very pretty you'll see that in a little bit I wanted to just jazz up the other side of the yin yang design that's not going to have the jelly roll pens I could have just left it black but I wanted it to have something extra that distinguished it so I'm doing the dragonfly glaze paint so that we've got some sparkle and shimmer on the other side and then I'm leaving the other side of the design with the matte black and that's where we're gonna go with the jelly roll pens so here's the pens these are the jelly roll moonlight pens and they're the bold and the bold point I think is important because they have a bold point and a fine point and the fine point does not work as well on rocks from what I've heard so I went straight for the bold when I purchased these and you can see they work quite well as long as the surface is smooth. I think these would not do so well on a bumpy rock, maybe even natural stones unless you're able to smooth it up um, with the spackle trick or maybe some Mod Podge. It, it does need to be smooth, but they flow pretty nicely. Um, if they get a little clogged up, you can rub them on a paper towel or a piece of paper or even on your, your skin, like on your thumb, and it'll get the, the gel flowing again out of them. But the colors in this set are really fun because they're bright neon and then there's just some there's a like neon about half half to three quarters of them are neon and then there's some other ones that are just kind of rich looking colors which you'll see on the second rock coming up but I love these so far I think they're fun for small designs you have the control of holding it like you would a pen or pencil and the colors are just really bold and bright and fun so I can't even tell you what inspired this design. I just thought little neon peace signs would be fun. And then I wanted to start filling in some of that open space. So I did a bunch of little hearts and then I'm going to come back through and add some dots just to kind of fill it in so that the design line is kind of clear during that S line and then the other circle that's there so that it stands out kind of on its own. take a look and use some of the other colors so you can see that this is kind of a mm, like a dark magenta maybe it's just more of a rich color not so neon and there's um, like a teal green that, that I'm using next that's also kind of more in that rich darker category but still really bright and fun and so this design I just let it flow I had no idea I didn't look at anything for reference I was just like what kind of fun little shapes can I make to fill this in and then it started to all of a sudden feel like um, like the 80s or 90s like designs that you would see back then and I guess you know that was my childhood so makes sense and then on Instagram the other day I saw someone post that they had just gotten this same set too and it would took her right back to her 
her teen years, her teenage self was really happy. And so these pens, I'm trying to remember, they must have been around at that point too. So I think they're meant for maybe like journaling or, you know, like doodling on dark paper. I think these pens would be awesome on dark paper, but I just thought it was funny that she said her teenage self was very happy to have these pens and having them work so well on rocks. So I can relate to that. The one thing that I am not sure about and a little worried about is how these would hold up in the sun. It seems like even the good paint pens like Thule Arts Neon Set, they'll, they flat out tell you that they don't hold up in the sunlight. So I think it has a lot to do with the color blends. So I'm skeptical that these would hold up very well in the sunlight. So that might have to be a test. I might have to make a, a bum one and just throw it out into the sun and see how it goes. I'm now using an eyeliner brush to put the Extreme Hologram Glitter Paint around all of our borders. So basically that S line and then both of the circles. And this is gonna be a nice clear glitter paint, but it's gonna be distinct from the Dragonfly Glaze. But it will still create a little extra border with a little extra dimension once it dries and we get resin on this. And we finally have sunshine so I can show you this awesome sparkle. Let me know in the comments if these moonlight pens are something that you might wanna try in the future. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Check out this video I have on the screen for you next and I will see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.